Three, two, one, charge. And they're off and running an autonomous match one of the playoff featuring Alliance One up against Alliance Eight. In autonomous, they can gain points by leaving the community like 63, 40, 13, 11, and all the blue bots did, gaining three points for each robot. First 15 seconds of the match controlled by autonomous action. The remaining two minutes and 15 seconds controlled by the human players as we're in match one. The ultimate goal, win to stay alive in the upper bracket. If you lose, you move down into the lower bracket. All right, it is a double elimination tournament, so it does take two losses to be eliminated from the competition. As 6340 launches a cube onto the upper row of their alliance power grid. 4026 Global Dynamics team spinning around, collecting the cones as 1648 looks to place. They place the power cube in the lower row worth two points. Points scored in the lower row of the power grid gains you two points in the middle row. That gets you three points. And if you can run it along the top of the tower, you get five points. If you can link three of the nodes together, you'll gain an additional five points. There are no ranking points here, so you get the points for going across the top, the middle, or the low row, linking three together, side by side. At 63, 40, the Marist Manatees worked to place that cone on the upper part of the tower, and they did in that cooperation grid. Alton Robotics, they're in the substation looking for one of those cones. They move over, they pick up the cone from the yard. Oh, they missed. They're gonna try again to grab it. They've grabbed it and they're moving with 30 seconds left to go. It's 70 to 25 in favor of the number one alliance. 6340, the Marist Manatees have climbed up onto the charging platform. They're docked and engaged with that platform, meaning that they get an additional 10 points for that. 2974, the Walton Robotics team, they're also on there. Both alliances now are docked and engaged with the platform. As 1311, Kale Robotics tries to climb up on the platform. We got two seconds left to go. Global Dynamics made it up for 10 points for their alliance. That's the end of round one, match one. All right, as we saw in the qualification match, the hot Formula car has taken off, indicating that the Red Alliance is victorious with a score of 95 to 39. Uh, Alliance one moves on across the brackets into match number seven, while Alliance two moves into the lower bracket for match number five. 